Good morning, good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another video unboxing episode. Now, I have in here a package from Paint Some Way, and um, there should be one more little cute thing in here, but I guess they forgot to put into the package because one um, one item is missing and the bag was sealed perfectly fine so definitely uh, that item did not last while travel to me probably they just forgot in the warehouse to put inside so anyway I have in here two diamond paintings and two cross stitch kits and there's something else in here what that is you will see in a second but first I think we will start our review today from diamond painting because it's only two canvases in here and it looks like this one is very little something so let's get started let's get started and see what on the inside I think I already know what's in the big one canvas already and this package came I have to say pretty much fast And if you like like a watercolor type or oil painting maybe then you will like this kind. There is um, dandelions. I do have some already from my like last year. I have few canvases with dandelions and this one is very very beautiful and if you um, go to the link that I will um, put underneath on my video in the description box uh, under that link you will see I think four or even more uh, different kind of dandelions so you just have to choose up there which one you want exactly so you have to click there's a will give you option which one you like to order so make sure keep that in mind but I think this one is absolutely gorgeous love the colors in here very very pretty now in this canvas what do we have 20 colors with two legends on each side and size you already probably know this <laughs> it's 30 by 40 centimeters Let's see the quality. Oh, the glue in here are super, super awesome. Wow, glue is here really, really good. Sometimes glue is good, but this is really, really good. Look at the layer of the glue in here. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Your diamonds will just sink in in that glue and go nowhere. It's going to be very beautiful to place on it because it's a good... A layer of the pour glue so it'll really grab your diamonds very very good okay now I think we should see diamonds because we love to see them and if you don't you can skip this part now 20 20 colors okay so I just need to see the last one for now make sure it's number 20 yes it is and let's see what we have in here two number 310 four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the canvas looks so bright, but diamonds doesn't look like bright, right? It looks very dark because there's a lots of dark colors around. But also, here is your splash of brightness. There. Four 
gorgeous. All right, so I do love dandelions. I love when they bloom. It's very beautiful. I even made one time when I was maybe in my 18s, I was even making a honey from the uh, dandelion flowers. It's a lot, it's a very healthy, um, should we call it wheat or herb? I don't know. <laughs> okay, and the uh, toolkit with no extra bags, but this big Ziploc bag definitely very, very good to use for something else. Now, one more canvas in here, and this should be cuteness overload. So let's check it out. Okay, let's not to cut canvas because it's like right, okay. All right, are you ready to see what's in here? Let's see, hopefully this is very Pretty one looks very um, kind of pixelated now, but I hope it's going to be good when it's done. So, uh, can you see what we have in here? Let me let me stretch a little bit first. of three little kittens when they look in on a puddle of water on the asphalt and they see themselves as a like grown wild cats. I think many of us see lots and lots of pictures like this in different designs. I do have a golden retriever like this when puppy golden retriever looking in the water and see himself grown up. So here it is our three kittens in here and their reflection as a wild cat. I'm gonna show you this way. So in here you can place this in a frame and you can turn really either way, uh, do, no matter how you like to place this on your wall. So if you place on your wall this way up as a grown up cat, there's a um, tiger, no, it's a lion, tiger, and puma, I think. Um, and you can think, okay, they're looking at the water and thinking about themselves as a kid. So it's like a memory. Or if you place on a wall this way, that it's been all oh, kitten things, how they wish to be grown up and look vicious and wild and strong mature cats, you know, so it's a <laughs> interesting piece that you can think of, uh, you know, two ways how to frame it. Um, now lots of dark background in here, kind of hard to see what is going on, but even uh, thumbnail in here looks uh, dark. And there's, you can find many other pictures that is kind of similarity or even like one little kitten looking in the water uh, with different designs of the background. So I decided to have this one. And I think for the ladies who like cats, this could be a beautiful display in your house. So let's see, 24 colors we have in here. Here's our toolkit. Look at that. It's already pre-packed into the Ziploc bags. Oh, that's nice. This is nice. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. So 
so this canvas will be go as a gift to someone that I have in mind So I will not keep this canvas. I just want to review for you. For somebody, if you like, kitty cats as well. This could be one of my cats in here because my cat is black, you all know this. So there is a black kitten up there as well. Dreaming have to be a big and strong wild kitty cat okay so let's see here here is our colors what we have for this one and we need to count 24 colors 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 4 perfect everything is here so here this some of the colors this one is very beautiful color Coral, look at this gorgeousness, isn't it? Uh, this one, very similar, but this is darker color. You can see it. There. Diamonds looks good. I always like this kind of shades. They are very good in combination together. Beautiful shading. Okay, so this is wonderful. I love that they already pre-packed into the Ziploc bags. So we don't have any extra waste of plastic. All right, I guess, should I fix this now or should I just, okay, since I already started, give me a second, we will put them back nicely. There, just like that. I love diamonds. Oh, uh -huh. okay, okay, okay. We have one diamond trying to escape in here. There, go inside. And oh, one went into the different bag. Okay, beautiful canvas. Looks like nice and clarity of this canvas is good but there is a lot of uh, dark colors in here. So I can show you like a dark color. Yeah, you would think it's very, very dark, but if you go close, you can tell that every symbol are clarity good actually. So if you diamond paint by the, by the window, you don't even need a light pad in here. It, it, not bad, pretty good actually. Maybe on some of those browns colors. Um, no, okay, here is the brown color. Let me show you. And the tiger's face. Still clear. Still clear. Okay, so this is gorgeous kitty cat. Gorgeous, gorgeous kitty cat. Now, what do we have in here? Something. Something long. I saw on the website this kind of hoop and I was interested to see the quality of it because all of my hoops are round obviously and this is unique oval shape and some designs that I have uh, it would be just perfect even to place in this frame and display on your wall if you wish or maybe you have some design you stitch in that is not very big but a little bit longer so this one little hoop will help you to work with your design now let's see Here's the way the closure, this work looks okay. I think this one is a good quality. Let me just kind of rub it like this to see. Well, it's pretty much smooth. A little bit maybe. No, it's, st it's still good. Maybe I, no, it's not catching it. feels like I should maybe sand it out a little bit in here, but 
No, it's not catching my finger. So it's a good quality hoop, I think. Okay, a little bit sharp piece in here. I can sand a little bit with the nail file. Yeah, and here too. Yeah, so this piece I will just like a very, very light. It's barely even catching my finger, but uh, just use your, doesn't have to be a sandpaper if you don't have, I think every lady should have in her possession a file nail and just a slightly rub it and you will have a nice and smooth hoop for stitching or for displaying some pictures. Okay, for example, here's the flowers. Which one? This one flowers you can put in a frame. <laughs> okay, so I do like it. It looks very sturdy. Good and smooth surface. There's just a little tiny few pieces that I will send this. So I like this one, actually. I didn't know what size that would be. I don't know if I even pay attention on a website how big this is. But I can tell you right now, if I could start from the wood part, right? Mm, from outside to outside it's um, 21 centimeter and from inside it's uh, 19 centimeters now this way if we measure from outside it's um, if this is center 13 and a half and from inside measures it's 11 and a half so that's your size from the inside okay let's go and see now cross stitch so here it is I have first one they are not very big canvases and should be stitched really fast but it's pretty here is the flower because I love flowers very cute little design look at this so thumbnail picture will be having here 14 count Ada 21 by 20 I don't know why they didn't make it 21 by 21 or 20 by 20 but that's okay you can get a little bit up one stitch and you will have the same thing okay centimeters and oh, no centimeters you can have a little bit more air on the top in here to create perfect square uh, so yeah this is it I love those uh, water dew in here on the tulips and I think the coloration of the shades of red and greens in this particular cross stitch is really nice and I have been looking on this picture for a long time thinking should I order should I not because usually I like um, bigger canvases and this is just a cute little one so they have many different design this kind of size uh, big collection you can check it out and see what you like I, I like this little button here that just going to open up and I, as I say I love this uh, water dewdrop in here so let's see how many colors we have in here Okay, so we have here 27 colors and two colors in backstitch. But in the backstitch in here, it's only for the water. So it's only a little few stitches. So if you are afraid of backstitching, this is such a, a little job that I know you can do it. Okay, you can do it. So as I'm looking in here on this pattern, I can see the colors in here look will look beautiful. Looks like a good, good shading on this one. And of course, this is Joy Sunday, so we know we will have something very, very pretty on the end. Because Joy Sunday is wonderful company to work. Uh, okay, we have cute little square. All stitch around as always here's your symbols I think you can see them very well stitched some symbol on the side so in stitches we have 90 by 84 stitches what's about clarity I 
think looking good. I think it looks good. Now we have two needles as usually. And then threads already fold in half and looks like most of this threads is just like a one one strand of threads because it is very cute little design will be very nice and fast to stitch for those lady who stitching like thousand stitches in one day this is piece of cake for you you can do this in very very fast way and what can we create from this one we can create little picture frame or you can you can even stitch and this is could be even decorative piece to put on your clothes or maybe some shopping bag to stitch to um, I don't know there's lots of uh, good thing you can create with this image because it is tiny you can um, make it like a little treasure box and this one not this one frame a little bit too small for that but that's the idea <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if they have a bigger size. I I do not remember, but check links underneath and check on the website if they have a bigger size. If you like to have a bigger size, okay, this is wonderful. I love the colors in here, threads to the touch, very nice kind of silky silky feeling. I love Joy Sunday threads. They don't tangle as much. So it's really easy to work with them. Now I have one more canvas to share with you and here it is. Who like monochromatic stitching? I have few of this kind of designs uh, in brown colors. Time from time it's fun to stitch just with one shade and this picture we have shading mostly like feels like you know black and white gray but it's not it's actually kind of colors in here kind of grayish yeah D dirty colors <laughs> we would call it so when I saw this picture it is very beautiful picture you can create this picture for somebody who is getting married or already married you can put this in your bedroom as a representing husband and wife and I show this canvas yesterday to my little girl Catherine and she say oh it's you and dad and guess what it's Daisy so it's probably me <laughs> it's me and my husband holding hands and walk together through the life so this is a very very sweet kind of uh, moment to think about this picture maybe somewhere you on vacation walking together um, so this picture would be awesome for somebody even like a present for a new home uh, who just purchased home and give them this as kind of like a reminder to keep them together as a wedding could be a place as a wedding album from on the top of the album to put this picture as a 3d project so gorgeous, I like it. Now let's see. Okay, hand in hand. 14 count, 27 by 21 centimeters. So what do you think? Would you be able to handle it this many colors in gray shading? It's kind of like a, not really gray, it's like a greenish greenish brown coffee with milk kind of colors so in here we have only full stitch and that's it and it's only 10 colors here's how it looks like patterns you can do on a different fabric if you wish but this is a full oh no actually partial well it's almost full <laughs> It's only where's those white spots you see on the bottom in here, in here, and like underneath in here. It's you don't have to stitch up there. So yeah, it's almost I can consider that this a full cross stitch. Now 
let's see how this looks like on a canvas super duper bright picture printed so it will be very easy to spot certain colors look at the brightness of this canvas wow that's very very <laughs> cheery colors and canvas looks beautiful to me print exactly where it should be no smudges into the other lines uh, how about here okay I think we still can read numbers looking good looking good now let's see that this wonderful colors that we have very little of them here it is your monochromatic threads okay we have two needles right in here and now I will give you idea for example if you don't want to stitch too much with these colors maybe you can you know get bored to stitch with this one you can stitch in full stitch hands and the daisy and whatever is behind it's okay to stitch in a half stitch and I think this will create even more like a 3D look because your a half stitch will be soften up the picture itself and make it as a pop-up hand so you can see hands more visibility coming out from the background and create more 3D look I think that would be wonderful and maybe I should try that way but this is definitely when I'm looking on this picture I'm thinking about myself you know and my husband and it's gorgeous I really really love this one it will be difficult probably to stitch in this colors that is not my favorite colors <laughs> but it's a you know uh, when I was stitching my ballerina girl she has the oldest uh, colors kind of like this very very light colors but I had fun stitching but the, the only difference is the other one canvas is counted and this one is printed so it will take a much faster to do because you don't have to count everything already here for you so yeah what do we think I think it's beautiful I think it's beautiful I really like it so I will look for your comments and see what you think about today's uh, project which one was your favorite let me know and did somebody already stitch this one or not I would love to know if you like it or not so I think both of these canvases are beautiful they are little it will be nice and fast to stitch so I think I will stitch this one from my bedroom and it will look beautiful in a white frame yeah I think white frame will be good because it's already in here kind of like rustic uh, white the way it, it give you a sample of the frame in here feels like um, silver frame white frame with some or like a tarnish or whatever that is darker I, I like that or just a pure white frame will be look good in this one okay let me know what you think Thank you very much. Paint some way for this beautiful product. I really, really love it. And I will see you everybody in my next video. I record every single day. Uh, some day I have two videos. If I don't have enough days <laughs> to cover all my unboxing, I post two videos per day even. So yes, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for being my friend. And thank you everyone who's watching my video every single day. You are my shining star. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow.